Hey, what's going on, everyone? Now, welcome, welcome again to part two of our comparison between uh, USB tether and wireless uh, on the Pico 4 with virtual desktop. So, this is part two. Here, we're going to be doing exactly the same fly that we did yet on our uh, video that I uploaded yesterday. Uh, but instead, we're going to be doing it with the wireless connection and hopefully we'll be able to see uh, what I've been noticing in the past, uh, you know, a few days since I started using my Wi-Fi 6 router. Okay, and so far so good. I noticed that the weather is not exactly what we had it as yesterday. So let me go ahead and set that up right now. I'm going to try to move it. This is actually the uh, live weather that we have at the moment here. So I'll just disable that and I'll just select a few clouds. Uh, that's more or less what we had yesterday, if you will. Not entirely the same, but at least a couple, couple clouds there, if you will. Okay, so... I'm going to go here in status and we're going to go straight to takeoff. Right. And we're going to put the hexit on. Right, that's better there uh, with the uh, noise canceling and enable. And speed box, let's go ahead and set that up real quick here. Uh, right. Okay, so I believe we are good to kind of take off. Uh, let me set the, fl uh, the trim here. Oh, the trim is already set. It was already set. There you go. Okay. Part break itself. Okay, so far so good. I haven't noticed any starters. We are going to take off on the same runway that we did uh, yesterday. And honestly, so far so good. I haven't noticed those stutters and audio cutting in and out yet which is good oh there I actually did notice some stutter when I kind of move my head very quick in there uh, but if you see I'm not sure if you notice it on the overlay performance overlay you're gonna see basically the uh, megabits per second next to the giga 5 gigahertz just oscillating all the way even to 500 megabits per second so let's see if I can kind of replicate that right now here and that's what's what cost is you see there 800 milliseconds I mean uh, 800 megabits per second so that's what causes the problem when you have uh, you know the uh, megabits per second or the data transmission rate just oscillating so as you can see there is 800 again let's see if I can just move 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 again 960 Yeah, I, I am noticing already on the hex, at least on the hex, I am noticing some 
uh, delay, if you will, when I move my head. I'm not really sure if that's going to come on the come out on the video, but we'll see. Right. Um, let's go ahead and set the altitude here uh, before we take off. We're going to go for 3,000 feet. Good. And hey, we're going to reset the heading here in a second. All right, let's go ahead and taxi. Yeah, I can barely hear the audio somehow. You see 864 megabits per second data transmission rate. Uh, that, that's the kind of stuff that you will not see when you have the cable connected. You see there, I got a massive stutter there, and as you can see, 576 meg megabits per second uh, we just got there, and I got a massive stutter. There's, there's another massive stutter from there. And we can see the milliseconds, the networking millis uh, latency going above 10 milliseconds. As you can see there, just, to, just pay attention to the networking latency there. It's a it was over 10 milliseconds just a second ago right so anyway we're gonna set the reset the um, heading here to our current heading and let's enable heading mode right let's go for pressure There's a piece of life. Rotate. Pass it right. Gear up. Ooh, started there. All right, let's turn on the autopilot. You see, another stutter just happened right there. Another one here. Another one. Another one. You see, the, the network latency just went above 10 milliseconds there. That just wireless that's just Wi-Fi right there for you that that's what you get when you are connected to the Wi-Fi so if you have a choice man and you are able to do wire and this is the kind of game or simulator that you're gonna be playing in virtual reality just go just go with the uh, with the wire man I, I, I can I mean I can already tell there is a huge difference as far as smoothness Uh, between the experience that I am um, having right now and what I had yesterday with the wire so it's not like I'm making this stuff up here man this is just the reality this is exactly what I've been noticing you see another stutter there I, I am I do not get none of those stutters when I am using the USB uh, connection so Right, so let's just try to find the airport uh, which should be right there uh, right around there if I'm not mistaken so let's head over there another starter and you see the network latency just climbed up about 10 milliseconds 
You you might you might you might say uh well but four milliseconds six milliseconds is not gonna make a huge difference. Yes, it will make a huge difference. Believe it or not. When we're talking about networking, man, <laughs> five milliseconds, like the difference between six milliseconds and eleven milliseconds, sudden, like suddenly changing, you will feel it. Trust me when I tell you this. You will. You will feel it. There's no doubt about it. Right, so there's the airport. Um, I'm going to change the heading here a little bit. You know, you, you have you have benefits uh, when you're using completely wireless uh, with the Pico 4. You don't have a wire pulling on your head, so you can kind of move around, if you will, and you will not have, you know, uh, the feeling that you have something, that you have your head tied to something behind you, or maybe a wire just, you know, getting stuck in your shoulder. You see another starter there, and I can see the network latency climbing climbing up to like 11 milliseconds it's already back down to four five six uh, but yeah exactly what I was noticing so so we are already let's just uh, we're gonna disconnect the autopilot Don't get it sink. Out of the way, if Don't you will. sink. Don't sink. Got some crosswind. Don't uh, sink. Crosswind here on final. Don't sink. 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 Reverser. We'll exit on the same uh, turn that we did yesterday. Uh, but we're going to try to do a, a better job here following a taxi line. All right. Flaps can come up. Right, so... Uh, transponder let's put it on standby and right okay let's go back to the ramp and uh, we'll just kind of wrap up shortly here so again um I mean, you, you might still believe that you can still get some decent enough experience with just the wireless. And I'll, I'll be honest with you, you might, you know, it'll, you actually might. It all depends on what it is that you feel comfortable with. I, you know, I, I don't know. I, I tend to just be kind of picky, I guess, sometime, um, if you will. So for me, personally I do not I don't want I don't want to have those stutters I don't want to have the audio cutting in and out when I'm flying I want to have the smoothest experience possible within the capability of my you know uh, 
hardware that I that I have right now. Again, in my case, I will try to avoid the wireless is uh, whenever possible and whenever it makes sense to do so. Um, and honestly, as far as you know, Microsoft Flight Simulator is concerned, I will try to avoid wireless 100% of the time, pretty much. So again, I really do appreciate you joining me here on this quick flight, uh, just to kind of test and um, the, the connection or the performance, if you will, with wireless, as opposed to uh, USB-C with uh, Ethernet te or a tether connection, if you will. Again, if you're not familiar with USB Tether, uh, just go back to my previous video. I actually have two videos. Uh, one of them is just, you know, talking about the experience that I had when I switched over to uh, Tether connection with the new driver. Because again, I was getting some blue screens, crashes on Windows when I was using the driver that Windows allocates automatically when you enable uh, USB Tether. Um, I found I found out about another driver that comes built into Windows as well, and all I did was just follow the instructions on the page, which is on part one of this video. Or nah, scratch that. I think uh, that the, the the steps I have them in the video, which I'm gonna link in the description, or I'm gonna put it here somewhere now. Uh, the video where I was talking about the performance difference. And a smoothness difference on that video on the on in the description of that video you're gonna find all the steps to set a USB tether and to select the proper driver uh, the Windows uh, 10 driver if you will uh, it might still be the same same driver for Windows 11 I do not have Windows 11 so I am not able to tell uh, but trust me when I tell you this the best experience if you are planning to buy a Pico 4 and you want to be doing flight simulation and of course, you're gonna be using virtual desktop because again, the Pico Stream Assistance is just uh, useless right now for this level of, you know, gaming, if you will, where you need to be looking at text in front of you that I, that it has to be clear enough to get proper colors, proper saturation, proper contrast. The only way for you to get that right now is using the virtual desktop application. So, if this is what you're going to be doing as well with your Pico 4, then just go for the USB tether or just go buy one of those USB C to Ethernet adapter, which I'm going to put an image here somewhere. But buy the one that comes with a charger port for the adapter because that's going to help you charge your Pico 4 while you are connected to the ethernet or to your router via a, um, an ethernet cable. Because if you just buy one of those adapters that only has the USB uh, male port that you connect on a Pico 4 and on the other side, it has a female RJ45 ethernet port, then basically you're not going to be able to charge your Pico 4 because your router is not gonna give you power over ethernet. So, just keep that in mind uh, but again I really do appreciate you joining me on this uh, part two of the video and basically we're just gonna wrap up with the conclusion USB tether is the way to go right so let me uh, let me know about your thoughts in the comment section of this video and uh, again I will see you on in the next one take care